हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स हियर आई एम डिलीवरिंग दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी वॉट द डिफरेंट ट्री ट्रैवर्सल टेक्निक्स आर देयर फॉर अ बायनरी ट्री they are depth first traversal technique and the breadth first traversal technique as the name suggests that depth first traversal technique goes into depth and having three different ways in which we can traverse it they are pre order in order and post order basically these three types are depend on the position of a root node and the breadth first traversal technique is deals with the level order traversal if you want to know more about the binary tree traversal techniques here i am providing a shortcut link in this right up corner please go through it and then you can resume this video in this video session i am explaining you the post order traversal i am focusing on the post order traversal so let's start the binary tree traversal in which we are focusing on the post order traversal what is post order traversal the introduction about the post order traversal is already provided in the previous video of this video series for your reference i am giving a shortcut link in this right up corner here in short i would like to explain you the sequence which we supposed to follow while traversing a tree in post order it is left then a right sub tree and then a root node the same thing i am explaining you with the help of simple example if we are having a root node a and it is having its left child b so we supposed to step down to the left child b and we have to process it after this we have to return back to a root node and then let's check for a right child is present for a root node or not here you can see that it is present so we have to step down to a right child and then processing of a right child again from a right child we have to return back to a root node because till now we have done with only the left sub tree a right sub tree and now it's turn to process a root node so that's why again from a right child we have to return back to a root node and then we have to process it but here you can see that as it is a tree data structure it is having only the link available to go to the next level or to the down level that is from a parent node to a child node we can move but there is no any facility is available for returning back from a child node to its parent node that may be a left child or that may be a right child so here how to return back from a left child to a root node as well as how to return back from a right child to a root node this thing we are going to study in this current video series that how to traverse the post order traversal how to return back to a root node so we are having a solution for that that is nothing but recursive and non recursive algorithms i have already explained the recursive algorithm for post order traversal with dry running with the help of example for that you can go through my previous video and here i am providing you a shortcut link for that video and now here we are focusing on the non recursive algorithms and the heart of this video session is nothing but dry running the non recursive post order algorithm for binary tree traversal so first of all let's focus on non recursive algorithm so this is a non recursive algorithm where i have mentioned that this is the post order traversal or a function where we are passing a root node my step number 1 or the first step is if my tree is empty then there is no any need to traverse it we have to return from the function to the calling function now after this we have to go to the step number 2 by considering my tree is not empty so here we supposed to create two stacks stack 1 and stack 2 of the data type structure node because in both the stacks we are going to push and pop the node of the tree data structure so that's why we are creating both the stacks of the type structure node then my next step is to push a root node onto the stack and then you have to perform these both the steps 
till your condition is true so what is my condition is true while my s1 is not empty i have to perform both the steps continuously so which these two steps are first step is to pop the top of the stack from s1 and that you have to push back again onto the s2 and after pushing it onto the s2 whatever you have popped from the s1 you have to find out whether that node is having its left and right child if they are present you have to push it back onto the s1 so push left and right child of the popped node to s1 this step you have to perform continuously and once your stack 1 is empty the condition is false you have to go to the step number 5 and you have to pop the content of stack s2 second stack one by one and that you have to display that will be your post order traversal for given binary tree now let's dry run this algorithm with the given example i am having this example with me and i am explaining you the execution of this non recursive algorithm by creating the stack and by performing the operation as far as the execution of the steps of the non recursive algorithm are concerned so now as my tree is not empty i'll go to step number 2 and i'll create two stacks before that here you just observe the thing that this is the area where i am i will give you the post order traversal the output of this algorithm so let's create a stack 1 and let's create a stack 2 after this creation of the both the stack is done now our next step is to push a root node on stack 1 here you can see that your root node is 10 and that i am pushing onto the stack 1 i have pushed it after this you have to go for a step number 4 which is nothing but a while loop or the continuous execution of both the statement till the condition is true and my condition is till my s1 that is stack 1 is not empty you have to perform both the steps again and again so as my stack is not empty i'll perform 4.1 operation or a step 4.1 is nothing but pop a node from s1 and push it onto the stack so let's pop this uh, top of the stack and push it onto the s2 you just observe both the stacks what i am doing i am popping the content of the stack s1 and i am pushing the same onto the s2 whatever the popped node is there for that we are pushing its left and right child respectively to the stack s1 we first of all let's check we have to check that 10 is having its left and right child yes or no yes 10 is having both left and right child so push the left child first and then a right child respectively onto the stack s1 that will be our 4.2 step so let's push 20 and 40 onto the stack after this let's check whether my stack is not empty condition is true pop the top of the stack and push it onto the s2 so let's pop the top of the stack s1 40 is popped and pushed it onto the stack 2 that is s2 here you can see that for the popped item the next step is push left and right child if present for 40 there is no any left and right child present as the 40 is a leaf node we will return back to the while condition s1 is still not empty perform a single pop operation on s1 so let's pop 20 and push it onto the stack and whatever popped item is there for that you have to push its left and right child respectively there is no any left child is present for 20 but right child is present so let's push 30 onto the stack here you just observe that i have pushed 30 onto the stack now why to perform the operation in the same order that is first left and then right that I, i'll explain you very soon that why to perform these operation in the same sequence only now after pushing 20 return back to s1 uh, to check whether s1 is empty or not empty it is not empty so that's why perform 4.1 is nothing but popping top of the stack and push it onto the stack 2 top of the stack that is s1 is 30 let's perform pop operation and push it onto the s2 so we have done with the push operation as well after this whatever the popped item is there let's check for its left and right child now just observe that it is having left and right child they are 50 and 60 so let's push them onto the stack s1 
so 50 is pushed 60 is also pushed return back to 4 step number 4 check whether s1 is not empty yes condition is true pop top of the stack s1 is nothing but 60 and push it onto the s2 let's push it onto the s2 let's again check for 60 whether any left and right child is present no it's not present at 60 is a lift node so 4.2 it will not perform any operation because its left and right child are not present return back to step number 4 to check a while condition s1 is not empty condition is true perform pop operation on stack s1 top of the stack is 50 of s1 let's pop it and push it onto the stack s2 next perform push left and right child children of the popped item that is for 50 no any left and right child is present so that's why I skip this step and return back to step number 4 as now my stack 1 is empty here you can observe my stack 1 is empty so this condition is going to become false and we have to go forward for a next step that is step number 5 and here we have to print the contents of stack 2 by popping the items one by one here you just have to observe that whatever you have pushed the left child first for the node 30 and then a right child whatever for any of the parent node you have pushed the left child first and then a right child so what was there initially on the bottom of the stack it was having 50 and then a 60 as a top of the stack after performing the pop operation one by one as the stack follows the behavior last in first out last inserted element was 60 and was pushed first in s2 and then the 50 and was pushed onto the stack and here what we want to do we have to follow a sequence a left first and then a right and whenever you will perform the pop operation for performing the step number five that is displaying the content of stack two the first item will get pop is nothing but 50 is nothing but its left child so that's why we have to follow these steps that is first left and then a right child these steps you have to follow and with that only you will be getting the correct output for the post order traversal where you have to traverse first a left child and then a right child as we are using two stacks over here so let's perform the pop operation one by one let's pop 50 from the stack and let's display it stack top of the stack s2 is 60 pop it display it now top of the stack is 30 pop it display it next is 20 pop display 40 display and last is 10 and display here as my stack is empty we have to stop at this position and here you can see that the post order reversal for the given binary tree is 50 60 30 20 40 10 50 then right child 60 and then a root node 30 for 20 its right subtree is done so that's why processing of a root node 20 after that we have to return back to a parent node and to a child node uh, right child that is 40 and then return back to 10 for displaying one more thing is remaining to explain is that how it returns back to the parent node here you can see that we have used the stack data structure and stack helps us to return back to the previous level so whenever you were at the position 50 and you are displaying it after that with the help of stack again you will be having 60 as a next node to pop and after that a 30 node from a stack so stack helps us a non-recursive function call utilizes the explicit stack which are developed by us that both the stacks helps us to return back to a parent node and this is the magic behind the use of a stack data structure so as far as whenever you want to traverse any of the non-linear data structure but in the depth you have to use a stack data structure which helps us to return back to the previous level i hope you must have understood what the a post order non recursive algorithm is and how to execute it with the help of example so thank you dear friends for listening and watching my video please do not forget to give the comment if you are having any query you can post your query in the 
comment box i'll try to solve your query i'll try to solve your problem for your reference i am providing a shortcut link for the subscription of my channel and along with this i am providing you a shortcut link for a next video of this video series along with a whole video series in the form of playlist so thank you stay tuned with tech talks happy learning happy data structuring thank you